It's a new month and that means it is time for our video games monthly unboxing. Hey everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out our episode and checking out what we got in this month's box. Now, if you're not familiar with video games monthly, what it is, it's a monthly subscription service with a number of different tiers that you can go ahead and get anywhere from three to 10 games per month for retro type systems. It has everything like it has in television games, Atari 2600, NES, Famicom, they have imports too, up now and including PS4 and Xbox One games. So the tier that we are subscribed to right now is we are subscribed to the five game per month tier. I think it's like $45 a month plus shipping and handling. Cost me a little bit over $50 per month. Now, one thing you need to make sure you do each and every month, make sure you go ahead and update your library to ensure that what you got the previous month, you don't get duplicates the next month because I've had that happen in the past. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna unbox this, see what we got for any cartridge-based games. We're gonna check and see what the condition of the pins on the cartridges are, and check and see how they look and everything. So let's go ahead, hit the bench. Oh, let me know, have you ever done any of these sorts of like grab bag types of subscriptions before? Whether you know we're talking about video games monthly, retro game treasures, or perhaps something, I know there's a lot of wrestling ones out there like Loot Crate and whatnot. Let me know down in the comments, have you ever done any of these subscription services? Let's go ahead, I wanna see what we got this month. So diving into this month's box, let's see what we have. You may see what I'm getting before I actually see it, because we're gonna do kind of the blind draw, and I'm feeling some bubble wrap in there, and, and let's see, we got a card. This is a, do not disturb, I'm playing with my joystick. I'm sure that the boys over there at Video Games Monthly do that often. We have a, I hope you enjoy your latest box. Please update your library. That's something I always forget to do. And looks like we have a one-up in here. So we do have an extra game in the box above and beyond what we pay for. So first game up we have, for the Xbox One, we have the Lego Movie video game, and it is sealed. We'll pop the values up around here for you. Um, I didn't, I still have yet to see the second one. The first one was okay. Um, and I've honestly not really been into the Lego video games in a while, but this is one I might keep, I might get rid of. Not sure on that. It is sealed, which is nice. We've got another sealed game here. Well, crap. Two months in a row, we got Rocket Arena, the Mythic Edition, and this one is also sealed, and this one will also get traded in. Um... You know, that's kind of a bummer that I did go ahead and update my library for this month, but I didn't count games that I got last month and trade it in. I guess I'm gonna have to start doing that. Um, I kind of wish they would keep better records as far as what they send out in previous months just to prevent stuff like this from happening. Um, yeah, that's definitely trade bait. So we've got a PS4 and an Xbox game. We've got a cartridge and feels like a Genesis. Genesis? Yes, Genesis. Lethal Enforcers. Now, I don't have a CRT, but this is something that you can still play with the controller. We'll open this up in a little bit and clean it and check out the condition and everything. So very cool about that. This is an N64 cartridge, Banjo-Tooie uh, for the Japanese N64. And again, the main difference between the cartridges, between the US and the American versions are the location of these tabs. Now you can go ahead and get 3D printed region free trays for the cartridges. I actually sell them on our 3D printed site. So I will have a link to that down below in our pinned comment. Um, I know I have this for the American console. I'm not sure if I have the Japanese version, uh, but great game, great, great game. All right, feels like we just have discs in here now. Another seal game, this is the day one edition of Left Alive for the PS4 from Square Enix, which tells me probably an action RPG. Yeah, don't know much about this one. Probably not something I will keep, but again, sealed. Feels like they went to five below or something. And I think this is our last title here. For the Xbox One, South Park, The Stick of Truth. So I actually have the fractured butthole for the Switch and I've yet to play it yet. Um, I've always kind of wanted to play this 
even though it's an RPG, I have enjoyed earlier seasons of South Park. Um, I, I may, this is one I may keep, again, this is sealed, so uh, interesting that they have, every disc game is sealed that we have in here this month. And looking inside, we've got some bubble wrap, which we're gonna go ahead. Come on, you, there we go. That's for J-Love from J-Love 81. And for Lady Lacey from Do You Nerd. But let's go ahead, we're gonna grab our tools. We're gonna check and see how clean Banjo-Tooie and Lethal Enforcers are. Now to clean both games, I'm gonna use this guy here. This is a one-up cleaning card. It basically has a fluid and a dry side. Very popular, very similar to what uh, we used to have back in the day. Um, and basically this is used to clean with like an isopropyl alcohol, like what we have here. Uh, we'll clean the contacts on the cartridges themselves. Now, this is the standard size card. This is actually the old standard size card. He's updated the uh, design since these. Um, he also has the minis, which are really nice. I like the minis for the N64 cartridges, but the new standard size cards, uh, it's a lot lower price profile felt or whatever this material is on here so it fits in the cartridge better. It's still wider. This I like because I can get further back and forth action. Uh, in addition, to keep your systems clean, they do offer the full line of system cleaners for NES, Super NES, Sega Genesis, N64, and Game Boy. And then I actually 3D printed this stand here to keep everything neat and organized. Again, available on our 3D printer store. So we're gonna start out with Banjo Tui here. There are two screws here. They are called either game bits or security bits. And this is a 3.8 millimeter, which I happen to have right here. We're gonna open that up. Now, if you do want to play import games on your US system, what you can do, there's a couple options that you have. You can just get a donor cartridge shell, pull off the back, put it right in your US system. Um, like I mentioned, I sell the uh, region-free mods that you can install in the system as well, and then Hyperkin has their region-free kit as well. Uh, now, in addition, you will need to, or need to remove these two Phillips blade screws, but let's take a look at these pins because I don't know that I'm gonna have to open this up. Those pins actually look pretty darn clean. Um, I don't think that I'm gonna have to bright boy this, and I don't think I'm gonna have to open it up. So what I'm gonna do, we're just gonna take our cleaner that we have here and this is actually will be good because you can see what I mean as far as the height of the pad versus this and just the width so you're just gonna apply a little bit of cleaner on there and even though this looks clean I clean all of my games because I want to prevent contamination in the future here you can see the height of the card versus the height of this um, that's where on the newer ones that are a lot thinner uh, you get a lot more clearance on here didn't get a whole lot off of that side. Ugh. We're also not getting a whole lot of travel side by side, so we'll flip it over, do the dry side. Same here, do the dry side there. Nice to see this is in really good shape. Now the one thing too on the N64 is you do have the tabs at the bottom of the cartridge that you do have to line before you can go ahead and get the case back together. So nice to see that I didn't have to break out Bright Boy. And what Bright Boy is, I'll show you that in a second. Um, for many years in the retro gaming community, they used Brasso, a brass polisher, to clean really, really dirty cartridges. And the problem with Brasso is it tends to, A, it removes a lot of material from the pins themselves. Think of it like, and John Riggs has got a great analogy here. Think of it like resurfacing a CD or a DVD or something like that. You only have so many layers you can remove and then it becomes unreadable. Well, after you remove so much material from those copper pins or the metal pins, it won't transfer the data anymore. Um, the other thing with Brasso is it tends to leave a chalky residue behind that gets in your system and follows up the works. So this is what Bright Boy looks like. I just have it in a different container. And this is a non-abrasive, uh, so it doesn't remove nearly as much material as what Brasso does. It also cleans off of the system pins a lot easier, so it doesn't leave that residue behind. Now, for lethal enforcers, uh, the Sega Genesis could use the 3.8 millimeter security bit like you saw me use. It can use a 4.5 uh, or it can use Phillips. This one actually uses the larger 4.5, which I have here. 
and I'll just unscrew this quick. It's really odd that Sega never really got consistent with their screws to hold cartridges together. And if you've never seen a game for the Genesis or Mega Drive, that's what it looks like there. A lot more simplistic compared to the N64, the NES, the Super NES. This doesn't look terrible. I'm seeing, I'm gonna use the, uh, the other, the 3.8 here. You can see some pin marks here, but they're not terrible. And normally I would say don't grab the pins like you just saw me do because I'm gonna be cleaning, I'm not worried about it. I, I mean, I'm seeing a wear pattern here, but nothing terrible. Again, I don't think I'm gonna to have to bright boy these, so uh, you can actually clean this outside of the cartridge. And we still have alcohol on this cart, so we're just gonna go like this. Now, careful if you are holding it like I am here because the pins on the back of the chip will dig into your fingers and those don't feel good. Yeah, that's a nice clean, uh, just needed a spit shine, basically. And that is basically how you clean a Genesis cartridge with a one-up cleaning card. I mean, that's, so what I've got to say, while I'm a little bit disappointed in some of the disc-based games, especially that uh, the arena game that I got two months in a row, come on, guys. Um, I'm glad that the cartridges were in great shape. I don't have to bright boy these. Um, and that's what I really would like to see. Now, that will only go in one way. If you do try to put it in backwards, like say I forgot if it was chip side up or down, um, I believe it will only go in one way because of the way that the plastic is molded right here. You can only put the ROM basically back in or the game back into the case in one direction and have it sit properly just like that. And it just sits on the back and it kind of keys in a little bit, but it doesn't have the little tabs like what the N64 has there. It just kind of fits together quite nicely. Just grab our screws. Now one thing, anytime you're threading into plastic, especially older plastic like this, unscrew a half a turn to a full turn, it'll kind of click into place and then start screwing in. This makes sure that the threads get seated into the post inside here and that you are not cutting new threads which could potentially strip and ruin your cartridge and then you need a new case and that kind of sucks. So again, we'll... There it is. And sometimes you will hear like there, I heard an audible click uh, and it went right into place. So we have our clean copy of Lethal Enforcers and our clean copy of Banjo-Tooie for the Japanese N64. Let's go ahead and wrap things up. So what do I think of this month's box? Eh, eh. I mean, if you look at the value paid versus the value received, these games are worth $59, $60 roughly. But I'm really not gonna play them. Like, I might play the Lego movie, but probably not. And this was the heaviest hitter at about $14, $15, $16. Um, Rocket Arena is worth like five bucks. Stick of Truth, this one I will actually probably keep because I've wanted to play this. And I do have my Siri or my Xbox One S that I can go ahead and play that with. Left Alive, no interest in whatsoever. Um, Lethal Enforcers is worth like seven or eight dollars and the thing that's interesting is banjo tooie isn't called banjo tooie in japan it's just called banjo kazooie 2 so i had to look that up on price charting game i doesn't have that in the database so when i looked it up i mean i was seeing some big prices and then i saw a loose cartridge it's a five dollar game all day long uh, overall uh, kind of a mediocre box as far as quality of games to me Value of games, definitely there, so there is that. Um, now, I do want to go ahead and congratulate the winners of our December giveaway. I will have their information down below as far as who won uh, each a box from Video Games Monthly. Now, for me, I may do it one more month in February. We've actually got some other things we need to prioritize here on the house. So I will continue to do it on and off throughout the year, but I don't know that I'm going to do it every month. And that's not you know a slight against them. I like the service that they offer. For those who are looking to start a collection, great way to go ahead and get that going especially if you're looking for commons. If you're looking for rare games, you're not gonna find it there. Again, you have to think about what you're paying versus what you're getting. At the lowest tier, you're looking $35 a month, right? 
you're not gonna get an $80 game in there. It's just not going to happen. That's not a sustainable business model. Now, I do appreciate what they do and the feedback that they take too. I mean, they realize that while I may not be thrilled with the games, I like the service. I actually really do like the service. I just wish there was like a wish list you could do as far as I want this game, this game, this game, this game for those who can go ahead and kind of keep things in perspective that aren't going to try to do like, hey, I want a copy of uh, Mighty Final Fight. It's a $200. I want DuckTales too. That ain't going to happen. Now, if you do want to see some of our other unboxings from Video Games Monthly, I do have the link right up there for you to go ahead and check out. Now, one other thing I will say is that the cleanliness on the cartridge games Probably about the best I've gotten from them. Uh, but the pins on both the games for Lethal Enforcers and Banjo-Kazooie 2, they both look great. Um, the labels are in good shape. The cartridges themselves are in good shape. These are really clean copies of these games. They're just not worth a whole lot. Um, I may play Lethal Enforcers. I know that I have the English version of Banjo-Kazooie 2. I'm not sure if I've got a Japanese version, but I do have my system region modded. And like I say, I can go ahead. Uh, if you are looking to go ahead and play Japanese games on your American N64, check out our 3D printer store. I've got those available. And for the next six weeks, we're gonna knock the prices way down on those too. So go ahead and check those out. Now, if you do have any other comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section. You can also go ahead and email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Send me a message on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions. Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. And like I mentioned, our 3D printer store where we're gonna have a sale going on really soon on our 3D printed accessories, specifically the region free adapters for the Nintendo 64. Super easy to go ahead and install. And like I mentioned, we do have a full playlist showing previous month's unboxings for Video Games Monthly. If you want to check out any other videos that we've done, unboxings, where we've gone to conventions and more, those videos are coming up for you right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rock Solid Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel, and you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.